two comic reviews today. I have issues uh, 505 of Daredevil and Dark Avengers issue 14. Let's start off with Daredevil 505, uh, written by uh, Andy Diggle. And uh, let's see. Oh, and Anthony Johnston is actually co-writer. Uh, Marco Cecchetto uh, is uh, doing the art. And a um, uh, quick explanation of the story. Uh, Matt, of course, Matt, Matt Murdock, of course, Daredevil, is in charge of the New York branch of The Hand. And uh, I've been saying leader of the hand, leader of the hand. And, but, you know, basically, it's kind of all broken up into a... Uh, basically, the hand is sort of like a franchise, and uh, he's the franchise owner of New York City. And uh, he's been uh, running New York City as their representative. This is the first time he's going off to Japan to meet with the big wigs of uh, the hand. And he, uh, let's see, he meets with uh, Bakudo, who is, let's see, he's a South American hand leader. And, uh, okay, he's got his plans uh, to bring, uh, well, he's been talking about how he's going to bring the hand down, but he's actually been making some interesting arguments in their meeting. He's bringing out that lawyer side of him, uh, where he's bringing up the fact that, you know, our, um, our front companies have gotten so large that they're actually making more money than our criminal op operations. Maybe we should start using... Uh, the, the hand, uh, the, the weapons, the warriors, uh, all our training uh, to actually change the world for, for the better. Uh, now that we have pretty much all the money in the fucking world. Uh, so yeah, he's got his plans here. Uh, let's see, Kingpin is waiting for him to, uh, waiting for his moment to jump in. And also, uh, the hand seems to have some kind of secret agenda too. Uh, the, they don't really divulge. There's a small conversation between a couple of the big uh, leaders in the hand and their plans for Matt Murdock that he is unaware that he has some kind of role to play in their future plans. So, uh, yeah, I love this. Uh, Daredevil is my favorite Marvel title right now. And you know what? I'm beginning to think it's probably my favorite title right now. Because, um, yeah, I enjoy the Batman books a lot. Batman's my favorite character, and I enjoy what Grant Morrison's been doing, even though I don't want to read about Dick Grayson, the Batman, but I'm kind of stuck with it, so here we go. So, I love this book. It's very well done, and it doesn't frustrate me. Um, so, this is five Ram Chips, and uh, over here, in Dark Avengers issue 14, uh, as usual, Brian Michael Bendis and uh, Mike Diodato. Part two of uh, The Century. Uh, where he has apparently been having a breakdown. His wife, Lindy, tried to shoot him uh, and kill him a few days ago, and she also reveals more of his dark past, where he was actually kind of a junkie who sipped down the wrong serum and turned into uh, the Sentry, creating a alternate personality uh, called the Void. So, and that brings that trouble to mind, and, you know, he gets pissed again. He, I mean, he has a breakdown every so often and tries to destroy the world, and here he is again, and now it's up to Norman Osborn. What a great savior for mankind uh, to try and talk him out of it. And uh, he succeeds. Uh, the, the, the problem between uh, Bob, his, his real name, uh, the Sentry, and the Void is the issue of Lindy. He loves Lindy, and the Void wants to kill Lindy, but there's no possible way. What keeps them balanced is is Lindy, um, and uh, Osborne is basically able to talk him out of his latest attack. Um, and at the end, there's an incredibly interesting uh, point where he meets up with Hawk, with uh, Bullseye, and uh, let's see what, what's the exact here. Uh, he asks him if he's feeling a little bloodthirsty, and he goes, always. And uh, he said, when I give you the signal, I need you to take care of something. Yeah? Who? His wife. These guys are bastards. And, um, it's, it's pretty exciting. I'm not sure how... Of course, we all... all this is the thing. We have the siege running uh, parallel to this. Uh, so, I don't know if... 
this subplot is going to come to play in the regular series or over in the uh, the Siege storyline. Well, I mean, it has the Siege uh, little logo right here, so I assume this is probably going to fall in place into the uh, regular storyline, which is only four issues. So, you know, hey, Brian, time to get going, okay? Not everything can be a 50-issue story arc. Anyway, uh, oh, I forgot to get ranch chips. This was uh, pretty good. I liked it uh, for ranch chips. And uh, there we go. Push the button, Lindsay.